the only I thing get it would work noting at the moment on page one madam clerk is a footnote that needs to be taken out okay. um, then does the state have any corrections edits or suggestions at this time your honor we do not we did have a typo with regard to the name of one of the victims I did email your clerk I believe it has been corrected but if not it would be regarding it was on page 28 of 69 specifically count 65 and the first name of the victim was um, there was an S that needed to be removed did you say count 65 correct there's an S in the first name that needs to be removed? Correct. All right, I must have the old copy, but I'll make a note of that. I hate to be with so bad. Oh, okay. hell yeah. Anything else? Go ahead. My thought on the instruction that I provided to the parties um, there is instruction 70, which. Wings or no, copies, the, the so tacos are on its way, baby. Copy, Teresa, tacos so are on its way. Well, and figuratively it. with everyone. Would you rather I shared it? Or? Um, sure. Mr. Brooks is raising uh, his objection sign. Um, if he has an objection, he needs to write that out and provide that to the bailiff so that I can then take it up. Um, so, no, it would be a far ahead. Sub oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no. All right, so as the parties can see on the monitor, um, <sighs> 70 is the instruction that is entitled in the uh, drafts that are provided by the, the standard or pattern jury instructions. Preliminary instruction, defendant proceeding pro se. Now I would note, none of these headings are read <laughs> during the advisement to the jurors. Um, it's really uh, so we can keep an orderly list of the instructions. Um, so I would, I, my practice is to simply read starting with the substantive. So that is the pattern instruction. It's been modified to make sure it says himself versus herself and the name of, um, actually it just says defendant, there is no name. And my suggestion and what I intend to do is to right after where it says in any manner is to start a new paragraph so just underneath that whether it has a heading or not I don't think is relevant at this point in time but to read the following this court is tasked with ensuring the orderly administration of the case my job includes making sure that Mr. Brooks's rights are protected making sure that the state and the defendant can present their respective cases in a coherent in orderly fashion and that victims witnesses and the public are appropriately treated in the courtroom all parties in the courtroom including the attorneys the litigants witnesses the judge the jurors and those in attendance are expected to conduct themselves appropriately and avoid creating disorder or disruption <coughs> as well as conduct themselves in a manner that demonstrates sensitivity to the necessity of preserving decorum and the integrity of the judicial process. I would not read the SCR unless there's a request to do so. That is there just for reference. That's where I pulled that from. There's a second part to the proposal that if at the time the court reads the preliminary jury instructions, Mr. Brooks is not in the courtroom, then to add the second where it says to be read only that says, at the moment, Mr. Brooks is appearing from another courtroom. This must not influence your verdict in any manner. I understand Mr. Brooks is objecting. I'll give him an opportunity to make any statements regarding that. On the record, I'll ask the state first whether there's any objection to inserting this in that location. No objection to it. inserting that. I would just note.